Hey, this is John Five, and I am here at Fender to talk about my new signature series, The Ghost. I've played many, many guitars in my life. My first, I guess, love and seeing the telly, I, I fell in love with it right away. And I was watching uh, a show called Hee Haw, and I had an acoustic guitar, and I was around seven years old, and I would play my acoustic guitar all the time. But then when I saw the, you know, um, the guys on Hee Haw, I was like, wow, an electric guitar. And they all had Telecasters. They were sparkly and they were cool and they, you know, were just amazing. So it just burned in my brain to say, I want electric guitar. So I just thought all electric guitars look like this. I didn't know there was any other shape. I didn't know there was anything else other than a Telecaster. But that's why I am uh, literally obsessed with Telecasters is because it was burned in my brain at the age of seven. And uh, I remember it vividly. Uh, it was such an epiphany for me. So I have uh, a bunch of different models, signature models with Fender, and I play them so much, I just wear them out. I'm just uh, always with them, except for the shower and sleeping, but any other time I'm playing them. But Fender had a guitar with Supreme, and I was like, whoa, that looks rad, you know? I love the white and the white neck and all that stuff, and I, I talked to the guys at Fender and I said, hey, let's do a Telecaster like that with red binding and, you know, red toggle and knobs and just all white neck. And they were like, okay, let's, let's, give, it, let's give it a try. So, uh, you know, they, they came up with this and we are calling it the ghost. And uh, I'm super excited. It feels great, plays great, sounds great. And uh, I'm very, very, very proud of it and super excited. And all of my friends are like, when is this coming out? When is this coming out? When is this coming out? Because I, before it's coming out, I wanted to take it on the road and test it and really give it the, you know, if any of the white would wear off, any anything happens. But, um, you know, I tested it out for a good year and uh, it is road ready and uh, I'm excited. Here we go. Okay, I want to walk you through some of the features on this guitar. I just wanted everything just perfect. There is a, with this pick guard, it is all one piece, but in a lot of my other guitars, there's a, you know, there's two pieces here, this and the pick guard. But I wanted it one piece because when I pick, I didn't want to feel that, that uh, connection. So I wanted it to all be flush. So that's very, very, very important to me. Might not be important to a lot of people, but it's very important to me. And of course, the kill switch, it's fast, it's quick. And of course, it's red, kids. And then the volume knob, I love this old kind of cool 70s type of volume knob, red, of course. And then DiMarzio Super Distortion, toggle switch, easy, you know, but it's tight still. It's still tight, because I, I work that toggle switch a lot. 
And of course, the binding, with, which is red. I love binding on tellies because back in the early 60s with the Telecaster Customs, they had that binding. I just thought that was so, so beautiful. Now, the hardest part about this guitar, the most difficult part about this guitar that almost didn't come to fruition are these little guys right here. Now, you think it would be very simple to do, but I guess these were a big problem to get the, that these dots right in that neck and to make it feel just perfect. And they did it, and they did it perfect. And then even, you know, uh, something so small but so important, we have even the red around here. These, I mean, it just, it's, it's incredible. The nut is red, then everything else white. Beautiful, and I am so proud. I, I just can't even believe it that this is finally coming to you to a music store soon.